What is up guys, Crypto Richie back yet again. I know you're tired of seeing my face. Uh, today is just gonna be a quick video because I keep getting asked this, how to transfer from KuCoin to MetaMask. Um, now the general way to do this is pretty much the same for all exchanges. Obviously the background, the, the, the exchange itself, the way it operates is a little bit different, but the steps are essentially the same as far as withdrawing, etc. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Pow, put it up here. So this is KuCoin. It is different on the PC than it is on the phone. The layout's a little different, but all of the buttons work out the same. So today I'm going to do it on uh, the PC. If you guys still need help on the phone, I will make another video. Just let me know in the comments below. So first of all, we're going to come over here to Assets. We are going to go to Trading Account. Once we're in the Trading Account, you need to make sure you have USDT. And when you do, you can buy any other uh, crypto on here with that. For those of you who are just getting their money in, and it's not in this part, it is over here in the main account. So right here, when your first stuff first comes in, let's say you sent it from KuCoin, this is what it's going to look like. You're actually going to come over here. You're going to hit transfer. You're going to go from main account to trading account. You are going to hit all or how much you want in here, and you are going to hit confirm. Once you do that, your money is going to be over here in the trading account. Now what you're going to have to do is go in here and hit trade. You're going to have to go to USDT. Make sure it says USDT because sometimes you'll get different options. You're going to come down here. You are going to change it from limit to market. And then if you did it just to transfer, you're just going to go ahead and hit 100%. And then you're going to hit sell. Now what that's going to do is send it back into your trading account into USDT, now you can buy, let's say, Avalanche or BNB or both and send them to your MetaMask. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna come up here in the search bar and we're gonna put AVAX for Avalanche. We are going to hit trade once again and we're not doing it from BTC, we're actually doing it from USDT, so we're gonna click this. We are gonna come down here into market and we're gonna hit market and we are going to hit amount and we're just going to do a small amount for you guys today to show you. So we're just going to do 20 bucks, and we're going to hit buy. Now remember, guys, this is exactly the same for BNB. Just replace AVAX for BNB. Once you're done with that, go back up to assets into trading account. You are going to look for your AVAX or BNB or whatever you're sending again. And you're right here, instead of hitting trade, you're going to hit transfer. You're going to be transferring this back from the trading account to the main account. You're going to hit all, and then you are going to confirm. Now it is over here in your main account. And I'm sure you guys figured it out by now, but trading account is where you can buy, sell, and trade. And your main account is where you can send, withdraw, which is the same thing, um, deposit, and transfer. You can also do some lending over here. We'll get into that into a whole different video. Now, when you're coming over here, when you want to transfer it out, you're gonna have to go to your MetaMask. You're gonna have to make sure you're in the Avalanche Network, which it doesn't really matter at this point. You are just gonna copy your public address right here. Uh, and again, guys, if you need to learn how to get Avalanche uh, Network right here into your MetaMask, the video is right there. So you guys can do that as well. So once you've copied that, you're going to come back over here. You're going to go to your Avalanche. Make sure you are sending the right one. Uh, you're going to hit Withdraw. You are going to put the wallet address right here. You are going to change the address to the C-Chain. You want to make sure that it is a C-Chain Avalanche Network. And then you're going to put your max in here, and you are going to confirm. Now, this is always going to pop up just to make sure what you want to do is what I do is I look for my last four and my first four. I go over here, and I make sure they're the same. I go ahead and hit confirm. And, of course, you're going to have to put your passwords in there, so we'll skip past this part. And just like that, it is successful. And when usually within a, for a couple of minutes, this should pop up here, and you'll see your new avalanche. Two hours later. And as you guys can see, we now have our avalanche. And if you guys want to make sure, I know a lot of you guys, especially on KuCoin or other ones, want to know what a TX hash is. This is it right here. So you're going to view your transaction. And on the snow trace, you're going to be able to see success. Here's your TX hash that most people are going to ask you for, your transaction hash. And this is all of the information, how much you spent, your fees. This is literally your receipt. This is how to get it from KuCoin. So guys, this was how to transfer AVAX from uh, KuCoin to MetaMask. 
and even how to add Avalanche to MetaMask is in the following video. You'll be able to see it next. If you guys like these videos, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help me out. I'd really like to get to 1,000 ASAP. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, we're already in the millions. We will see you guys. I will see you on the next one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. And if you want anything else, let me know in the comments below and we'll make sure we can get to it. Thank you guys.